It is December 21st, the shortest day of the year. We know cool season grasses are important to low cost winter grazing. So we went to the prairies and roadsides looking for native cool season grasses that are green in the winter and green up early in the spring. We had faith mother nature had a better plan than toxic fescue. Cattle freeze their tails and ears in the winter because of reduced blood flow to the extremities and elevated body temperatures in the summer causing cows to cool off in streams and ponds or abort their calves. We are in Rex's home place. I want to show you our cattle grazing our eastern gamma grass diversity field stockpiled for winter grazing. Let's look a little closer to see the green southeast Virginia wall rye and early wild rye. See the green blades nestled among the brown eastern gamma grass and foxtail that's not yet crowded out of this new planting. These native cool season grasses are higher in protein than the cattle require and it appears the design of the prairie is to make the cattle eat the brown warm season grass with the green cool season grass. The high protein cool season grasses feed the rumen microbes that break down the high energy warm season grasses. The combination of brown and green can provide a maintenance diet for an adapted dry cow. Look at the density of forage keeping the earth's heat close to the ground, keeping the cool season grasses growing on December 21st. Non-native cool season grasses, like this tall fescue, are large clump grasses, allowing the cattle to selectively graze the non-native cool season grasses. Once they have eaten the cool season grasses, they are not happy eating only warm season grasses and then they lose body condition. Today, there is enough cool season grass to maintain the cows. We will monitor the native cool season grass availability and at some point will supplement with a protein source. We are ship grazing this eastern gamma grass diversity field to keep a high concentration of the southeast Virginia wild rye and early wild rye in the sward. In a couple of days, the forecast is seven below zero the cow's nutrient needs will go up in the cold weather, and we want her to have adequate forage. Climate Smart programs are available through the Natural Resources Conservation Service Environmental Quality Incentive Programs now. This is a good time to get rid of some fescue and plant warm season grasses. We like to establish the warm season grasses, then the native cool season grasses and wildflowers once we are certain the fescue is killed. See our establishment guides to help you make the best plans for your situation. So we can see the cattle like these green cool season grasses, but uh, you know, how are the cattle doing on the whole, you know, in this pasture? What I'd like to do is to focus on protein as warm season grasses are short of protein in the dormant season. Let's look at this forage quality testing. Look at the second column on March 20th during the dormant season. Protein levels range from 15 to 20%. A cow before calving requires two pounds of protein per head per day. So with 30 pounds of forage dry matter at 15% protein, this equals 4.5 pounds of protein. This is over two and a half times more than she needs. The design of the native cool season grasses is to supplement the warm season grasses. This study did not test in the fall, but was done in March as these cool season grasses were starting to green up and grow. My name is Amy Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. If you have any comments, leave them below or check out our website, uh, www.hamiltonnativeoutpost.com